Morning guys. Okay, so I every morning I get up and I don't switch the television on. And the reason I don't um, is because everything that you look at in the morning on television is really negative. You very you struggle to find a positive story. The news is all <laughs> You know, it's, it's giving you all the worst stories. You've got things like in the UK, we have things like Jeremy Kyle, which is all shouting. And um, even uh, the right stuff in the UK, which is I actually quite like it as a show, it's still discussing the most negative aspects of the day. So you don't start your day in a good way. And it's really, really important that you fill your mind with positive stuff early on the first 20 minutes in your day is the most impressionable so make sure in the first 20 minutes of your day that you're filling your head with good stuff whatever that may be maybe you read a book maybe you you know do positive affirmations whatever it is but I thought I would try and counteract that so this morning I've been looking out for positive news stories and things that just make you feel like warm and smiley like kittens and stuff uh, so I want to share two of the stories that I really thought were wonderful um, with you guys so you can feel positive and bright and lovely this morning although many of many of you may already be at work but hey you can watch it later and I'll try and make it a regular thing because I think we should spread positivity and good warm stuff rather than always the negative stuff so one of the stories I found was um that's a really lovely story and it was I'm just gonna get it up um a, a doctor in Chicago, Dr. Daniel Ivankovic, he has treated over a hundred thousand patients in clinics that he set up in America for people that couldn't afford healthcare. So those that were uninsured or underinsured just couldn't afford the treatment, which being based in the UK is crazy to me. You know, we are so lucky that we have the NHS and we get free treatment at the point of use. Although we, you know, we pay taxes and stuff on that we get it when we need it and there is never a question if I'm ill I get treatment um obviously in America and other places that's not always the case so this doctor has decided that he found it just hideous that people couldn't you know couldn't have treatment and he said that we never turn a patient away and the greatest thing we can give them is hope and he has treated a hundred thousand patients what a guy what a bloke just amazing amazing because he obviously didn't go into that profession you know just you know as a financial I don't think anybody does in that kind of profession and and he can't turn people away and, and good on him what a wonderful story think of all of those people that he has helped out and and given a chance so that's my first good story the second one was so cute and it's basically this um in all Arl Arlington in Washington so again an American story this time um there was a, an old lady who sat in a window, she's 93, and she would watch the school bus go past every day, the, the Arlington um, local school bus, uh, and she would watch that happen. And the children that were on the bus were, you know, had grown accustomed to seeing her every single day as she went past. And they started, they called her grandma. Uh, the grom I think they called her the grandma, I've just lost my notes, but I think they called her the grandma in the window. And um, every day they would see her and they, they grew accustomed to seeing her there every day and, and she would give them a really warm wave and, and we, yeah, the grandma in the window. Um, and one day she wasn't there and the students, excuse me, sniffing away, I remember called. <laughs> um, the students um, obviously were worried because they didn't see her and they were used to seeing her every single day. So one of the students decided they were going to get a bunch of flowers and they would take them and they would leave them there for her. And they were told by her, her husband that she'd actually had a stroke. So being the lovely children that they are, they decided to take a picture of their school bus and they got it printed up big so they could present it to her. And they went and met her when she was able to to um, have visitors. And, and obviously she was really, really pleased. She was unable to talk at that time because she just had a stroke. And the next time she was back at the window when she was healthier and she was back at the window watching the world go by, the children went past in the bus and on there they had welcome back grandma across a big sign on the bus and they honked the horn and they cheered and they waved at her. And I just thought it was such a warm story of, you know, just being human and appreciating that at 93, she's lived a hell of a life and 
you know, that, that pleasure that she had of seeing the children go to school and, and you know, just being able to watch the world go by and, and, and just, you know, just appreciating that they're part of that. What a wonderful story. It really warmed me this morning. So I thought I'd share that with you guys. And I'm going to try and do this because I think I, I really, really feel passionate that we need to start filling our heads with with better stuff because we so, we are so tuned to see all the negative stuff and we don't need to look for that. That's their stuff slapping us in the face every single day and uh, news newspapers wherever we go that's what we want to, people want to talk about so let's try and like flip this on its head and let's try and talk about some of the more positive things in life so please feel free to send me any stories that you've found in your local paper or you know you have to scroll through to find the good ones but uh, maybe just stories that you know yourself just something good that happened tell me something good tell me something positive where somebody had done something somebody's done something really positive that you saw or you know just let's just try and connect on on a more positive level and a happier level and you know there's so I actually believe there's so much good in the world but we just get trained not to see it and it's you know it's not good so let's not do that so have a wonderful day and, and look for all the good things and then tell me about them peace out